guy I got them from. He says, what happens is they become selective eaters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they'll eat the grass, and then all of a sudden the annuals will come back. So what he suggests is just throw cross fence up, let them decline that pasture, mm -hmm. let, them, let them knock it all down. They won't be selective if, they, if that's all they've got to eat. Sure, they've okay, got to eat and, it. And then we can move them to this pasture for recovery. Yeah. Meanwhile, they fertilize, they got all the manure that I need in there. Yeah. Okay, and they're pretty maintenance free. The only one of the only problems that you have with them is is worms, which I did worm them, and fly strike is the mm -hmm, other one. Mm -hmm. And fly strike's pretty bad, but on the hair sheep, which these guys are, uh, it's not near as a problem as the wool sheep. Mm -hmm. So, eat so you're, the it cost you in the fencing to get all this stuff put in to be able to use them, but you figure you're saving how, how much money in the weeding? Well, the way I figured the way I figured this to put these animals in here, this fencing, the cost of this fencing was basically about a year's worth of maintenance. Uh huh. Okay, that was about a year's worth of maintenance. Okay. So every time I go in here, and I maintain, that's six six man days to weed eat this orchard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now I got. Let's just say you got a guy a hundred bucks a, a day. Mm -hmm. That's six hundred dollars. Now I got to fertilize minimum five hundred dollars on the fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Should do that four times a year. That never happens. You're lucky if you get it done three times a year. So mm -hmm. that's thirty six hundred dollars, four thousand dollars. Let's call it in maintenance. Okay. In maintenance. Now I've spent basically that, maybe a little bit more on fencing this entire place plus the cost of the animals. Okay, right. and then so the animals then begin to breed, and you end up with uh, uh, how many new animals you figure are born into the flock annually, maybe? Okay, so uh, the math on that works that uh, we've got one ram in there, and we've got three ewes. Mm -hmm. So the gestation period is five months, so we'll call it they drop lambs twice a year, mm -hmm. normally twins. Mm -hmm. So if we have twins, and we've got three ewes, mm -hmm. that's six Mm -hmm. times two that's 12 offspring mm -hmm. plus the original four okay there you go mm -hmm. right 12 and 4 is 16 so i have 16 animals manicuring my dragon fruit orchard all right now you're going to come to a point though where you have plenty enough lawn mowers in here and so the rest of the sheep is either going to have to become personal barbecue for your freezer or you're going to have to start selling sheep yeah one of the one of the uh one of the selling features on the Craigslist ad that I bought these sheep from, he says, ooh, they're tasty. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, look, yeah, and yeah. I was, as I was just looking at it, I saw all those little lambs, my mouth was warming up. <laughs> so, so, yeah. you know, they were real, very, very delicious. Yeah. At about seven months. Mm. A lamb is, the definition of a lamb is under a year old. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that it becomes mutton. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he says you, it's best that you get them about seven months. Yeah. And usually what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the rams. We don't want too many rams, sure, right? Sure. Uh, dur during my ram research, they said they're, they'll never be your friend, and there's two types of rams, a dangerous ram and a potentially dangerous ram. Yeah. So one, one school of thought was segregate your rams. Never leave them alone, but put weathered rams in so what is weathered rams it's castrated lambs oh, i see okay so yeah, yeah. keep him with a couple weathered rams mm -hmm. so he because they're herd animals they'll go berserk mm. and he'll let you know when the when the ewes are in season mm. they said make sure your fence is pretty strong enough for 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 that ram so basically mm -hmm. you keep one breeder in there you know one or two breeders in there you can well it should be interesting integrated agriculture it takes you way back to the beginning man animals and plants animals and plants animals and plants animals and plants you're and you're, you're back to it again right um, you're back to the basics and that's uh, the so way you, i see this so you got a good permaculture approach here now of course all this mess in the dragon fruit all occurred when you what slid off the roof and broke your back broke my back broke my neck everything got a little out of control uh -huh. uh, couldn't do all that weed eating and everything started slipping away from me so now we're we're back on the saddle back yeah. in the saddle and uh, now we're going to try to work smart as opposed to hard well that's what they say about you know nature hands you a lemon you squeeze it you make lemonade broken back and now you got sheep <laughs> that's right <laughs> hopefully so, it's going to work out real well yeah well we'll see, see. There. the girls take take a nibble right and they go 
wow, this is great, right? This, this is great. And then the ram goes over and takes a nibble, and he's just, his ears went like sideways, man. He went, wow, they're like combine. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean? And then Willie goes over to him and does his little playful, you know, buck stand up on a thing. Uh -huh. And comes down. Now I'm standing about here, and I'm feeding him right there. He sends Willie into next week.